it's gonna be a good day. Hello, St. Rose. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of St. Rose Rocks. As always, I'm Connor Walsh, and I'm here bringing you music from the St. Rose community, whether that be current students or alumni. And we have a little mix of both in this group that we have here today. On this week's episode of St. Rose Rocks, our guest stars are Tyler and Juliana. Guys, thank you very much for coming on. It's a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having oh. us. <laughs> So guys, during the whole isolation period that we're going through right now, you guys are doing something really cool about taking requests from people and pumping out new songs every night. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? So uh, Juliana put a post on Facebook just asking if anybody had any requests or wanted to hear any songs. And it's just kind of been a, a nightly ritual for us every night. We've just kind of been doing one cover every night and some of the songs are pretty simple um, and or, or even a little bit intricate sometimes uh, with some of the arrangements but uh, we basically just been taking requests that, that as they've come in we try to just do one a day and go from there. Just a nice way to like keep people's hopes up or you know brighten their day a little bit um, and then it also kind of brightens our day being able to learn something um, like a new song that we've never heard before we actually have a couple in our backlog now. Nice. Um, and it's always really cool. It also brightens our day when we see that like it made someone else's day. Um, so I think it's really important to like keep everyone's hopes up, keep everyone happy. It's a really tough time. Everyone's going through the same thing. Yeah, it's a fantastic project that you guys have uh, put together. How many of the songs would you say now that they're, well, not brand new to you, but brand new as to performing? How many uh, do you think you've gone through that way? Pretty much every single one. We would learn it like within within like 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we do a couple of takes whenever one we like the most, we just go with it. So they're very like off the cuff, very quick. Sometimes we'll, if we have time, I guess we do have a lot of time in the morning, but if we plan it out right, we'll do like, we'll practice in the morning and do it at night. But most of the time it's usually like, you get like 20 minutes, do it in a yeah. couple of takes. I mean, like some of the songs, like, I mean, we've obviously heard um and like i've sang some in the past before or like i'm sure tyler has played them but like we've never done them together for the most part I think. Yeah. but that's cool a new little project for you guys to work on making you guys better as musicians but also a little ray of sunshine for everybody who's kind of stuck inside that's awesome yeah. absolutely so guys could you tell us about the first song that you're going to be performing for us so the first song is a song called philosophy club it was one of the songs that was on my senior project and is actually out on itunes yes. um it was the second song we wrote um it's in this very cool open tuning i actually have my guitar here um so it's not standard guitar tuning it's just kind of like a very strange open tuning uh, kind of beautiful in its own right. Um, but we're just kind of inspired by the the, the tuning and the, the, the kind of harmony of that, and that's what kind of inspired the entire song. So yeah. I, as most of our writing goes, usually I'll do the chord progression, um, and then Juliana will set the words to it. Nice. <laughs> there you go. All right, sweet. All right, guys, performing their song, Philosophy Club. This is Tyler and Juliana.
So, how did you guys get started together as a uh, musical duo? What was it that uh, got you guys together to start making music together? Yeah, so uh, for my last semester of college, um, at the College of St. Rose, uh, as a music industry student, you have to uh, do a senior project. Um, and I was coming up with some songs and stuff like that, and I asked Juliana to sing on one of them and help me songwrite a little bit. Uh, she is a fantastic songwriter, so I was love to have you on the project. So. We started with uh, that one song, um, and oh, yeah. then we kind of just started growing, and we started um, doing more and more stuff together. After I graduated, um, we started gigging and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's been kind of just like a natural progression off of that first uh, that first song we wrote together. Yeah, initially I was just helping him out finish his project, and then it kind of just worked out. We we liked working together and yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> nice. Do you guys think you can tell me a little bit more of your personal backgrounds, how you also got into music before you met each other? Um, personally, I have been into music since, gosh, like preschool or kindergarten. Um, it was kind of, I consider myself very lucky in knowing like that I always knew what I wanted to do. And I always knew that I wanted to pursue music in some way. Um, and I was very fortunate to have a family that really like backed me up and supported me and believed in me. Um, and not everyone has that. Um, I actually wrote a song about that too, which is pretty cool. But um, so I, I just kind of have always felt that in my heart. And so I always kind of, went with it and I wrote my first original song in gosh, fifth grade. Yeah, it was fifth grade. And it was, I remember I was sitting on my floor in my bedroom listening to Kelly Clarkson. And then afterwards I, I was taking piano lessons and I ended up doing this, it was like seven minutes of just like rambling on and on, same four chords and that was my first song that I ever wrote. Nice. And um, yeah, I just kind of, I took it to my music teacher and she just pushed me to keep going with it. And um, and then all my other teachers really helped me, my family. And that's kind of where I got to where I am now. So nice. Yeah. Tyler, how about yourself? Yeah, so when I was uh, 13 years old, I actually inherited a uh, guitar from my grandfather. Um, I never really knew my grandfather uh, that well. He lived kind of in a different part of the state and, and didn't have a, a great relationship. But um, it was kind of this, this one thing that I lost my brother and I. And uh, when we got it home, I just like put it in my room, kept it away from my younger brother. Um, and I, I just like, it was just from that moment on, I was always playing it. Um, I remember like I learned uh, a Beatles song, just one Beatles song. I played it like nonstop for a year um, and it just grew from that. I learned song after song after song after song, spending hours in my room playing and then I went to school obviously and the rest is history. Awesome. Now together, what would you guys say that your writing style is like? It's very like, mm, like singer songwriter. Yeah, it's got that like folk element to it. But it's also got a little like, like Wolfpack S, well, a couple of them. Yeah. Like kind of not, I guess it's not really funk, but there's like a, a more soulful element, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
stuff what? Like folk blues, blues yeah. all that kind of stuff i definitely agree listening to your stuff um maybe a little more clear question what are some of your influences who do you guys listen to that really kind of lead you into your writing oh man so many people <laughs> maybe uh, that wasn't an easier question yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, um, sorry. definitely uh people like Bob Dylan and Bruce Springsteen, Joni Mitchell, Paul Simon, John Mayer, um, of course, John Mayer. Um, who else? Theo Katzman's a big, big one. Uh, Carol uh, King. Carol King, absolutely. Um, yeah, all those, all those kind of yeah. people. The Beach Boys, the Beatles, the Taylor Swift, obviously Taylor Swift. Any, any one of those people, they all kind of, and it's all that singer songwriter kind of yeah. style. So guys, can you tell us about the second song that you'll be doing for us? Yeah, so the second song is called One Day at a Time. That's also out on all major music platforms. Um, and it was kind of, it was born out of a challenge that we did, like that we took on um, last year actually for spring break. Um, Tyler had already graduated, but for my spring break, I ended up staying up in Albany and we challenged each other to write, record and produce and then release the song in one week. And it was a big task, but it was a really cool experience. And we just kind of like turned my living room into a makeshift studio and um, spent the week like just fine tuning and recording and it was a really cool experience. Not gonna lie, the uh, mixing mastering took another week, but we released it, and it was pretty proud. We're pretty proud of it, I think. Yeah, it was a cool process. Yeah, it's cool process. I remember when it came out. I thought it was really cool, and when you guys said that it was like all just a week's project, I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. Thank you. Performing their last song for the episode, this is Tyler and Juliana with One Day at a Time.
So besides doing music together, you guys have solo projects, right? Yeah. Um, well, for Tyler's senior project, um, he released a couple of singles off of that. So you should definitely check that out. Um, and then I've been putting out music for, I think since my freshman year of college now. Um, and I actually just released a song last week for the first day of spring. Um, and it's called Chase the Bitter with Lime. And actually Tyler helped record and produce that one as well. Um, and we also had Dr. Ted Nelson play the bass on that. Um, you should definitely check him out. Um, but yeah, so our music can be found under our names, Tyler Schmidt and Juliana Sweeney on major music platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And same goes for Tyler and Juliana together? Yes. Yes, but it's, it's, with with a, a it's a plus though. We tried to get the and, like we tried the symbol and, and we also tried just putting and and none of it, none, of it, none of it fit the credentials that was required for all the streaming platforms. So we did the little plus. And it's true, except it's a pain in the butt. Like when you try to follow us, it's Tyler X Juliana because you can't do a plus sign and it's like a hand. Yes. And plus and so X are all very like, difficult yeah. symbols a big in the world crazy of, uh, mess. The internet. But yeah. So if you're trying to write it out, it's Tyler plus Juliana. If you're trying to say it, it's Tyler and Juliana. But if you're trying to find their social media, it's Tyler X Juliana. So yeah, yeah. names. But it works. <laughs> so simple. Thank know, you so thank much you. for simplifying that for us. <laughs> I was Not having a trouble problem. having my head around it. Um, yeah, absolutely. You'll link everything, right? The link's yeah. in the bio. Everything's there. Like, it's all set. There you go. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate having you. Uh, just like the videos that you've been posting online doing this has just been a ray of sunshine for me tonight as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Connor. Cool, Connor. It's nice talking to you. It was a pleasure talking with you guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of St. Rose Rocks. As always, we got to thank Student Development, Student Association, St. Rose Marketing Team, and the College of St. Rose for making this all possible. If you would like to be on an episode of St. Rose Rocks or have a special announcement or shout-out made, please let me know. Send a message to me on Facebook, Instagram, or email me at walshc907 at stroves.edu. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. This is why St. Rose Rocks. I'm glad we get to spend some time.